Further, learn mathematics. Prove that if you rotate anything, theta degrees anti-clockwise, this is the matrix to do it. Now, to prove or to find any transformation, you look at the identity matrix. The identity matrix looks at the x and y axis. What makes up the x axis? It is multiples of the unit x value, 1. So you look at 1. Then for the y axis, it's also 1. Now, what are we doing? We are rotating these points clockwise, anti clockwise, theta degrees. We're doing this, right? So this line, the unit vector, think of it as a vector. We are rotating it theta degrees this way. So it's rotating round theta degrees, like that, to here. All we need to do is read the new coordinates. Now remember this length is 1, right? So this length is also going to be 1. We're going to form a right angled triangle like this. So if I just draw a little bit bigger, looks like this, theta, 90, 1. The opposite side will be sine theta. The adjacent side will be cos theta. So, in terms of our new matrix, the coordinate, the x value, is cos theta, and the y value is sine theta. Now, we always write the coordinates downwards, x, y. So, x coordinate is cos theta, and then the y coordinate, sine theta. Because I'll be real, who has time to even remember this? I actually do this every single time. Uh, when doing this question because I can picture it in my head. The more you practice this, trust me, you'll be able to do it nice and quick. This, we're rotating theta degrees. So this is theta. Remember, this is 1. We just need the new coordinates of things. Now, here's your 90 degrees. All I'm going to do is I'm going to read you the x value. So the x value here is negative, right? It's the opposite. Yeah, so it's opposite theta. So this length is sine theta, but it's on the negative side. So it's going to be minus sine theta. Then this, the adjacent side, is cos theta. But it's positive, right? So cos theta. Proved. Noise.